article showing you how to um, do the boxes for the gel pens and cut print and cut if you do not have a Cameo 4, 3 or 4 or you're not using an auto blade. You can do this with a ratchet blade. It just takes a few extra steps. So I am going to first import my, I'll just use the pencil box for this one. And it is, these are PNGs and make sure whenever you do this that you have edit preferences and go to import. Make sure PNG auto trace is clicked. That is the easiest way to to do this. So I'm going to right click and release the compound path or you can go up to objects, release the compound path. And then my little the little instructions here or I guess the word saying what it is, I can delete that. Okay, so now I have three separate. And I'm just going to get these out of the way. It's easier for me to place if I do that. Okay, next thing I need to do is bring in the SVG, and I'm going to use this generic, um, the one without the little cutout box. They're the same size. So I merge that, and I'm going to select all of these and group uh, Command G or um, Object Group. I don't want to move my score lines. So the pink lines are your score lines and the black line is the outline. And then again, I can delete that. I don't need don't need the instructions or the title to the file. So I will move this out of the way and the easiest way for me to set this up is to center to page. So I'll highlight one background and copy and paste and center to page. And then select both, Command G, or Object Group, and move that out of the way. And then you'll just continue to do this for all three, if you're going to print all three. Maybe there's only one you like and you don't, and you don't want to, you don't want to print all three of them, you just want one of them. Command G, Group, and then the last one center to page and the last cut I'll center to page and then select both pieces command G object group so now I have three pieces with my line with my cut lines and the printable material so I'm going to go to my page and I have to set up my registration marks. So I'll turn my registration marks on. I'm going to put my inset down so I have a little more room on the side to print since I'm going to do all three of these. And just center them within those red cut marks. And good enough for this display. Okay, so I have these centered and I am ready to print and cut. The only thing I can tell you, and I think I told this in the last one, that uh, the lines, the pink and the black lines, if you're going to print and cut, you need to select everything and turn your lines off. Set your color to, z set your color to nothing because if you don't, when you go to print, you will see those lines. I did Command P to bring up a print menu and you can see the lines aren't here. So I could print directly from this, but I'm not going to, for this tutorial, I'm not going to print them out. So I would print just like this. If you have them on, and I'm just going to edit undo, and now I go to Command P, you see the lines are here. It will print out with those lines. So that's why I turned the lines off. Okay, so we've turned them back on. And even whenever they're off, even if you've turned all the lines off, when you go to your send panel, your cut lines are still there. So you don't, don't get worried that you're going to somehow do something to it because the cut lines will still be there. 
but we're going to go ahead and turn them back on. So now we're going to go to the send menu. You can do this with a ratchet blade. It just takes another a few extra steps. Um, so we're going to go to the lines. So you have simple, which is your standard way that the cut menu comes up. And then you can choose by line, fill, or you can do the layers. So we're going to go with the line since that is the easiest way to do this. Okay, we have our pink lines, our black lines, and then the outside of our PNG made red lines that they automatically put cut lines in when you imported it and you told it to auto trace. So first thing we're going to do is get rid of get rid of those uh, red lines. We don't need those. And then I'm just going to drag this red down to the bottom. Oops. And leave it there. Okay, so now we have black and we have pink black lines when I turn it off you can see that is the that's going to be the outline we want to score first cut second so just like with the red you have to just drag it and drop it down now this is the point that you're going to put in your different settings I'm not hooked up to a cameo right now so you'll see the you'll see the little these dots over here showing you what tool because I don't I'm not even connected it's not even plugged in so the pink, that's your score lines. So you can go ahead and just for your own, you're not using an auto blade, so this part, you know, it everything's going to be controlled by you manually turning your blade. But just for my own peace of mind, I just put score in there. And you tell it you're going to score, but again, you're not using, you're using a ratchet blade. So set it to the ratchet blade. Okay, same thing. Cardstock, heavy texture. We're just going to leave it like that. I don't know what the setting is right now. It doesn't matter. And you're going to your action is going to be cut. And again, you're going to use your ratchet blade. So what you need to do, so this is set up to to go. And if we send it to the if we send it to the um, cameo right now, it's going to read your registration marks and then it's going to start cutting. But it's going to do everything at one time, just like my other video showed you. But it can't change the settings, so you have to put that in there. So since we are doing this, I'm going to go ahead and go back down and okay. So after the first one we need to, you see I have my pink selected because that's what I'm on, we need to add a pause. So what this is going to do is it's going to stop the machine and it's going to give you time that you can go and you can change your blade. So you right now the way you have it set you're going to score your lines and you're going to put this all the way down to as low as you can go. I think it's a one. I don't know if you can go any lower than that on the ratchet. It's been a while since I've used it. So you're going to go the lowest possible setting for your ratchet blade and right here it sets it shows you a one is the is the recommended the recommended um, setting for that and then we place that pause so that the machine will stop once that machine stops then you can put your you take your blade out you change your setting to whatever you use for cardstock and then you'll hit and then you'll hit go so it will continue to go after that hope that helped a little bit for anybody that is using either a cameo one or two or even the three or four that you don't use the rat the uh, auto blade not everybody is a fan of the auto blade i personally like it so i use it most of the time